like this weird competition of cool. You take a reef shot to the side of the head for a wave like that. If I can win this, this will be the greatest moment of my life. All the girls are surfing so well. They're beautiful inside and out. Going skagless is a whole other realm, like a fast version of body surfing. There's something about just getting in the ocean and cleansing ourselves from everything else that's going on in the world. My job description is student, student of surfing. Board Stories TV is proudly presented by Cholos and OC16, exclusively on Oceanic Time Warner Cable. Aloha and welcome to Board Stories. I'm Mahina Garcia with Chris Latronic here at the beautiful Waimea Valley on the North Shore. We're coming to you from this stunning location, bringing you a heavy dose of fun in the sun. On this show, we check out skate action from TNC Sunburn Classic, as well as a private skate session with the kind skate pros. We also sit down with Al Moana Bowl's local Mike Akima and feel his surf stoke. Before checking out the always fun surf polo tournament in Waikiki, as well as the High Fives Foundation giving back. And a hearty pack of dedicated bodyboarders take on the infamous Keiki Shore Break with photographer Clark Little. Can't wait to check it all out. But first, we're starting off with Skate Vibe taking a look at professional skater Jordan Huffart getting tech at a private skate session. In a skate hangar in Honolulu, visiting pro skater Jordan Huffart eyed up the pyramid ramp, looking to showcase his true street style prowess. After dialing in the subtleties, Jordan proceeded to flare it up with technical flip tricks, grinds, and combos, using every part of the ramp. What's up, this is Jordan Hopper, and you're watching Board Stories. Stay tuned after the break to watch me and the boys skate the park and uh, more rip, rippage with the kids, dude. <laughs> the TNC Sunburn Classic is coming up. Keep it right here on Board Stories. Black bean nachos. Yum. Fresh fish tacos. Mojito. Margarita. Homestyle Mexican food and the best grinds in the islands. Cholos at the North Shore Marketplace. Live the dream. Welcome back to Board Stories. We're gonna keep it on the skating vibe and check out the TNC Sunburn Classic, a fun skate event put on for the growing flock of Hawaii skaters. 
We're here at Hawaii Kai Skate Park for today's TNC, Dekine, and Stereo Skateboard Sunburn Classic. We did this event just to kind of give back to our skate community. You know, the entry fee was pretty much free. You just had to bring a canned good, which goes to Aloha Harvest. Benefited the Boys and Girls Club. It's kind of just a way to give back to the community. Thanks to the Dekine and Stereo guys coming out. Jordan Hoffer, Chris Haslam, and Walker Ryan just stoking everybody out. The park itself is a lot of tranny, there's a lot of variety. Um, you've got a rail, you got a Euro gap, you've got a lot of bull action, so it kind of makes it perfect, especially out here. You know, the skate scene kind of revolves around a lot of people who surf, so it kind of benefits those guys who surf the most. It gives them a little more transition room. Well, I feel like Hawaii is probably one of the few places where all the skaters also surf. I like to see how surf influenced the kids seem to be skating. They really have a unique style. They shred around transitions like it's flowing in their blood. It's really cool to see. Yeah, we got to uh, guest judge the finals at the uh, Sunburn Classic. It was cool, man. I wasn't sure what to expect, but uh, it was exciting to watch, man. Some really, there's a lot of talented skaters out here, for sure. follow up the Sunburn Classic, TNC organized a private skate sesh with the Dekine skate team at an undisclosed location where a handful of raffle winners were able to watch and skate with the pros. Okay, so yeah, this is the secret skate session that everyone's been talking about. A predominant Grom scene, it seems here. There's a lot of kids who are really good at transition, flying around the bowls. They all have proper airs, grab correctly. And a good amount of girls, too, which I like to see. From what I've seen, it's pretty awesome, it's growing. Everyone's having fun, which is more or less the reason why everyone does it. So everyone gets it, which is rad. And uh, it just you know goes hand in hand with the surf culture here. And uh, it's here to stay, you know? It's, uh, it's like a lifestyle. You can't, it's not, it's not gonna go anywhere. In an impromptu best trick contest in the bowl, the kids had their chance to really show the pros what they're capable of, and two hand-selected winners walked away with a skate deck prize. But all in attendance took home a goodie bag full of swag. Stay tuned to Board Stories as we check out the High Fives Foundation and what they're doing for injured action sports athletes. Experience Hawaii's past in the present. Oahu's Waimea Valley calls you to reconnect. Waimea Valley is a rich and culturally significant vahipana or storied place that embraces a world-class botanical garden. Come visit our newly restored kauhale and historical site believed to have been occupied by families of high rank centuries ago. Our kauhale at Waimea Valley is one of a kind, a special place to engage in Hawaiian culture. Reconnect at Oahu's Waimea Valley. Check out Surf and Scene now for a huge selection of Surf Tech surfboards, longboards, and SUPs, all at 50% off. Al Merrick, Rusty, and Simon Anderson shortboards, longboards by Robert August and McTavish, and SUPs all at 50% off. Hurry in and get 50% off a Surf Tech surfboard, longboard, and SUP while supplies last.
Welcome back to Board Stories, where we're enjoying this beautiful scenery and culture here at Waimea Valley on the North Shore. It sure is beautiful, but now we're going to check out the High Fives Foundation, a nonprofit dedicated to supporting athletes who suffered life altering injuries while pursuing their dreams. They're all about keeping the stoke and the positive vibes going, and recently brought a group into the water to share some high fives. Let's see what it's all about. You never really know your limit until you go beyond it. And you never go beyond it unless you have the courage to boldly put yourself out in this place where you're willing to accept the exposure and the feeling that you, you could be hurt. You could risk things that you hold dear. But ironically, when you pay that price, when you do risk daringly, and you do go boldly forward, and you do step beyond that threshold of what you see to be your limit. There's this new world. We all have this capacity to not just dream, but to, to live our dream. Life comes down to experiences, period. Full stop, end of sentence. If life comes down to experiences, what are we doing with our time? It ought to be in service of the experiences that are true to us, you know, the truth that exists beyond the veil, that we're all unlimited. Because when you look for appreciation rather than expectation, the end result is joy and gratitude. And those are the experiences I choose. Check out more from the High Fives Foundation online and stick around. We're hanging with Ala Moana Bulls local Mike Akima and heading into Waikiki for some surf polo action. Keep it right here on Board Stories. Teddy's Bigger Burgers Haleiwa, the standard in burgers as always, with amazing ambiance and Hawaii's premier tiki bar, great happy hour food and drinks, as well as smooth entertainment for all. Breakfast served daily right here at Teddy's. Come try our scratch-made corned beef hash, rustic bacon, western locomoco, acai bowls, and caramel mac nut pancakes. We're spreading the aloha in Haleiwa. This is the all-new Teddy's Tiki Bar and Grill, where bigger is always better. My name is Mike Akima. I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. I've been surfing Ala Moana Bowl since I was 14 years old. Me and my good friend Larry Boy Rios, the boogie boarders out here. And then I started shark boarding and I never turned back. And I just love this wave. This is like the most perfect wave to me. Well, I love Pipeline. I used to surf Pipeline a lot when I lived at the North Shore, but then we moved to town and 
Now I travel a lot to Indonesia and I, I love Desert Point and g -Land. That's my favorite spots. When I was living in the country, all I did was surf and it drove my wife nuts. I, I wouldn't go to work because the waves were always good, yeah? So we stayed there a couple years and then um, she was over. She wanted to move back to town where I could work more and uh, it works out better this way. I have my own painting company for the last 12 years and we've been blessed with work and it enables me to surf a lot too, so it works out good. What I love most about Bose is I, I love everyone out here, you know. Yeah, everyone's so cool and, and they give me a lot of waves and I just love the wave itself. Today, it, waves are going off today. The middles is firing, there's waves in the bowl. So I like it when it's spread out like that. It gives everybody a shot at getting good waves. I think that's the way to, to surf, you know, at any spot. You gotta show respect to the locals. Yeah, you, you know who the locals are. They're the guys that's sitting on the outside. You know, they're usually the ones getting all the best waves. But you know, you go out there, you tell them how's it, you know, and, and you just wait your turn. If you be respectful, they'll give you one, you know? I mean, that's what I think. There's no easy way at bowls. When I grew up, there was a lot of sessions where I didn't catch anything. But, you know, you just gotta stick it out. My all-time favorite would, would have to be Uncle Brian Amona. Just cause he's, he's like the ultimate role model to me. With all that he's been through and where he's at today, he's surfing better than he's ever surfed. And that is right there, my all-time favorite. Uncle Brian. I love giving waves if you come up to me and, and say, hi, how's it Uncle Mike, man? I'll hook you up. Yeah, surfing is better now, man, to me. I don't know, I look at it differently now. I get more still giving away waves. Not all, but I want to catch some too, you know. But I get still giving away a lot, man. Yeah, if at every local spot, somebody gave a kid a set, man, that would just fire the kid up. When I used to surf in the morning before work, just that one hour, if you got that one good on your whole day, is good, man. So give a kid a set today, locals. Mike Akima is a classic local, always scoring at bowls. And I like his message of sharing waves. Mike's the man. But now we're gonna head into the heart of Waikiki for some surfboard water polo action. Started in the 1930s, surfboard water polo, or surf polo, was a sport beloved by the late and great Duke Kahanamoku. Developed by his brother Lewis, this original sport was previously played on big wooden boards in the iconic Natatorium in Waikiki. Every year, the Duke's memory is honored with a surf polo tournament as part of the annual Duke's Ocean Festival, where teams from near and far bring out their best players to battle for bragging rights and the coveted championship title. essentially water polo rules and officials added to a full lineup of hungry surfers, this unique sport can test the savvy of any esteemed athlete. And it sure is fun. For the championship bout, last year's winners, the Peach Boys from Honolulu, went up against their perpetual rivals, the old rusty muskets of Pomalu North Shore. The action stayed tight, and the score was close for most of the game, with the Peach Boys gaining a slight edge. But with a late scoring surge, Pomalu stepped up their physical play, leading to some key turnovers and quality possessions. With it all tied up in the final minute, it was Pomalu's team captain Doug Cole making an all-star play to gain the final goal, sealing the match and bringing the title championship back to the North Shore. When we come back, the bodyboarders push it over the ledge at an infamous North Shore shore break. Stay locked to Board Stories.
Additional support for board stories is provided by Moku Surf Shop, meeting all your surf needs with Aloha. And Rainbow Drive-In, open every day off Kapahulu Avenue in Honolulu. This Board Stories Bodyboard segment is brought to you by Science Bodyboards. Welcome back to Board Stories. Clark Little is widely known for his dramatic shore break imagery and is a madman in harrowing conditions. Along with Clark is a dedicated crew of bodyboard extremists. Together, they charge into whatever the shore break is willing to throw out. Shore break poundings. Clark Little and the bodyboard boys live for that stuff. Fun to watch, but I don't think I'm gonna get it for experts only. That's right, Mahina. Know your limits. That's gonna be it for us. We wanna thank Waimea Valley for providing us with this epic backdrop. And before we close out, we leave you with our spill of the week. For me, Mahina Garcia at Chris Latronic, we'll see you next time. Aloha. Aloha. For this spill of the week, Maui boy Emai Kalani DeVault attempts a very technical rodeo flip air. While getting good projection, Emai isn't quite able to complete the final rotation, making the landing too abrupt, but we know he'll be landing these soon enough. Emotional support for board stories is provided by Waimea Valley, where Hawaii comes alive. Check them out at waimeavalley.net and give them a visit next time you're on the North Shore.